Hello everybody. Um, so for this week's spellings, um, our focus is poo, as in poo at the zoos. This O and O make an oo sound. So what we're going to do is we're going to read through our words. I'm going to put my sound buttons in to help me. We're going to then identify any special friends and the number of graphemes. Are we ready? So we have zoo, z, oo, zoo, oop, hoop. Oop, scoop. Then we have sk, oop, i, ng, scooping. <laughs> I said that really funny then. Scooping. T, oop, tooth. Sp, oo, n, spoon. M, oo, n, moon. S, m, oo, smooth. Okay, and then our high frequency words are for, which can be or, and are. Okay, so these are high frequency words, the words we see in our writing quite a lot. Now, are is not phonically decodable, but for is. So, I'd like you, so what we're going to do now is um, I'd like you to press pause and I'd like you to read through the words and put your sound buttons in. Off you go. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to identify any special friends. Now, we know our focus is ooh today, and that's our special friend for today. So that's going to be in our words, but there's going to be other special friends in there. So we've got zoo, we've got ooh, and then z, ooh, zoo. So that's two graphemes. Okay, I'd like you to press pause, please, and go through the rest of them. Okay, can you um, identify any special friends and how many graphemes or phonemes we have in there? Off you go. Okay, let's have a little look. You can um, get your purple pen if you'd like to and you can check and correct. So we have oop, hoop. We have our oo, special friend, and oop, hoop. Three. Scoop, we've got the oo, and then we've got sk, oop, scoop. Four. Now in sk, ooping, we have the oo, we have to also have the ng, thing on a string grapheme as well. Sk, oop, i, ng, scooping. Six. Then we have tooth. We have our oo and we have a th sound. T, oo, th, tooth. Spoon, we have our oo, sp, oo, N spoon four have moon m u n moon that u sound then m u n that was pretty tricky to say m u n moon three smooth we have a u and we have a th as well so you got s m u th smooth four for that one. And that's those done. Okay, and then what I'd like you to do today, you can get the flower out again this week if your <laughs> parents and people at home allow you to, or you can do some rainbow spellings. That's what I'm going to do to practice mine. So I'm going to do, I'm not going to do a yellow because you won't be able to see it. Z. And I'm going to do my oo in a pink colour. Okay, so I'm going to do the different graphemes in a different colour. So then I'm going to jump to tooth to show you. So I'm going to do t, u, okay, and that's it for today. Well, and I hope you um, enjoy practicing your spellings. Um, find a way that you enjoy doing it, whether this is chalk outside, if it's dry, if it's rainbow spellings, or drawing some pyramids or some spelling scribbles or even getting the flower out again and um, find a way that you enjoy it and that will help you learn. Take care, year three, goodbye.